everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jessica Oleseki. I'm a fashion designer, personal stylist. I have a blog and it's called JessicaOlesekiStyling.com. From now on, I want to start a new journey and it will be posting videos about every, once a week or twice a week. And so this week, since it's the beginning of spring, I wanted to post how to transition your everyday work slash winter um, wardrobe into like a date night or your party. So we all have um, a little black dress. I want to show you how you can make it work day and you can also make it into party. So this is um, my little helmet dress. Um, I can wear this to work. I wore this with boots. In the winter I wore it with high knee boots, but now that summer's coming and all the parties are coming along, I would I would pair this back to a stay I would put a stay necklace with it. So here we have two pieces, the statement necklace, and I will pair it back to a pump that has a pop of color. So you have your little black dress, your statement necklace, and a pop a pop of color. You can still do a black shoe to keep it all subtle, but if you want to do a little pop and make it a little bit more funny, you can definitely do a pop of color in the shoe. Um, my next outfit, think of yourself at the office with your white button down and, you know, peplums were really in. This skirt is ancient. I got it from Zara like uh, four years ago. So I will pair my little peplum um, skirt back to a white button down. And on top, which I still love, a lot of statement necklaces, I will pair my Banana Republic statement necklace with it. To add a little pop of color, definitely for the office, you could do this for work, but if I'm going to um, a fun date night or a party, I would add my Kurt Geiger shoes with a little bit of gla um, glamour, and you have um, silver gold, which is okay to match, and you have your skirt, pebble skirt, pop of color in the skirt, and mint is really good and really it's a good color to have and also really end for this season. We have it in the shoes, we have it in the skirt, we have it in some um, accessories. The next outfit I would do as a work, because I will definitely pair this skirt. This is a Fiji leave on a skirt and I will pair it with a white button down. But if I was going out, I would pair it with the crop top, which are really in. I have two babies, so it's really hard to show your midriff, but this one comes up higher, so it will cover the part that I'm most concerned about, and then I will have the pebble on top up top. Because it's a black outfit and the, and the fabric is already, it, it already has enough sheen to it, I would just add bracelets. And I would do that because I would want the top to show, and I wouldn't want to put too much emphasis on the upper, upper part of my body. So. I would do that, and apart from the, apart from a bracelet, I would add, I have this cocktail ring I've had for forever, so I would do this cocktail ring, and um, I would just add the pearl, um, this is a pearl, like a clip-on earring I found at a vintage shop, and I would put it back just right here in the back of my ear. And sometimes people ask me, like, why don't you have earrings on? I don't do earrings all the time because I like to sometimes just show my neckline or I like to just show my earrings. So with this outfit, I would do the Fiji Bivano skirt, the crop top, the bracelets, my cocktail ring, and just a pop of something right here on my ears. If you have to do like an earring, I love this Kate Spade earrings. They're um, one of my favorites. I wear them all the time. And they're a nice size for diamond. They're not diamonds, of course. They're very inexpensive. I got them from Nordstrom. They were like about, uh, I think, 40 bucks or something. I don't know. And I wear them all the time. So I would do something very subtle with the outfit so that you, you still have emphasis on the um, outfit and not not on um, the big earrings. Okay, my next outfit is, I'm sure if you're a fashionista or you go to church or any of that good stuff, you have a floor print dress. This, I found at a vintage shop. I want to say I have it already for like uh, seven years I've had this dress. Yeah, I think I wore it in high school. Yeah. Okay, 
So I had this dress forever. I've worn it over and over again. And I still have it in my closet. I take very good care of it. I don't wash it often. It's kind of bad. I take it to the cleaners most of the time. And it's pretty fun because it has tulle in it. And so it adds a little bit of buzz to it. And I'll repair this back to a long blazer because they really end. And then it makes the outfit interesting. So I would do it with the long blazer. So you sometimes don't want to be too, too girly and show everything on the on the dress. You would do it with the blazer. You could definitely do it by itself, but this will be like a work outfit. And then when you're going out at night, you have it just the dress. And I will pair it with my favorite pair of pearls. I have her pearls my husband gave me a long time ago, and I wear them most of the time when we go for dinner, just kind of for him. But I like to wear my fashion jewelry when I'm just going out and about because of the two kids, because of running around. I broke these before, like tugging at something. And so these are my Nordstrom pearls. They're a Nordstrom brand, and these are also my Givenchy pearls. So the short ones are Givenchy, and the long ones are Nordstrom. These are Givenchy. And I pair them together for layering purposes. I would definitely have Chanel. I'm not opposed to having real pearls. I just feel like if you're going to wear them all the time, every single day, you should not. If you can't invest, but if you don't want to do all that expensive, expensive, they were 88 bucks. The long, the the long ones were 88, and I think the short ones were like 70. So it's a good range, under 100. And um, you will learn a lot from me. I do expensive and I also do inexpensive. I shop vintage. I shop at uh, little markets. I have things that I got in Italy like five years ago that I still keep. So that's definitely a must when you're doing your wardrobe. Have pieces that are interesting. You don't have to buy everything super expensive. And you can always um, just keep up. So for this outfit, for the floral dress, I would do this little sandals. They're just a nude sandal, they're strapped, so that you can keep everything like kind of simple, but then you still have your toes showing, which is also what I'm doing in this outfit, the one that I'm wearing, I have um, a little bit of gold in the shoes, so just kind of, just keep it subtle, and with a little pop or something, and for this one, I forgot to tell you guys, this, I will keep, definitely with the black pump, I would do this outfit, but I would definitely pair like a pop of. This has a little pop of gold and it has an interesting detail so I would definitely do this back to like the skirt. You could do that together and you can also do that with this like for work, you know. And I would say definitely if you don't already know this, Kerr Geigers are my most favorite comfortable designer inexpensive shoes. They're, um, the heel looks like it's atrocious, like it's going to kill you, you're going to die, but no, they're like the most... Um, comfortable shoes. So this is for outfits and now I'm not big on beauty but for beauty what I would recommend for the for the summer is I've always do a bronze so this is my very sexy from Victoria's Secret bronze. I apply it to my face and it just gives me a little glow like if I'm at the beach. So that's my very sexy Victoria's Secret blood, uh, bronze. And then I just got this from Nordstrom. It's called Hourglass. And it's, um, it's a uh, blush, and it just adds a little bit of like a pink to your cheeks. And uh, for my nails, I have a Louboutin uh, Red Nail Polish, which is this one. He also, or his team also created a couple of colors, but my favorite so far is the red because it's a very classic color. And that's that one for that. But for other no, nail polishes, I would do like a pink. This goes back to like all the outfits because for summer when you started to add things to your wardrobe or to your outfits, I would say start doing also too for your for your makeup. And that's pretty much it. So thank you for tuning in and I hope to see you guys um, next week. And I will be posting every week. Make sure to check out my blog. It's jessicaobasekistyling.com. Thank you. Bye-bye.